welcome back to another video. Um, this video is going to be kind of like a just a movie day video. It is Sunday and it's kind of it's, it's in rain and on and off. It's not the nicest of Sundays. So I'm going to try and watch some movies. I've got quite a lot of movies to get through, you know. I always mean to have a movie day type thing if I've just um got the time because I've got like so many movies to get through that I need to watch more movies I guess. Uh, yes we're gonna see how many movies I can get through. I've done a couple of these before. I did a Saturday Night Movie Night one. Uh, I think you guys seem to enjoy it and then I did a rainy lazy movie day one at one point. Uh, I think that was a Sunday as well but I usually don't get through that many movies so fingers crossed we'll get through quite a few a few um but yeah hopefully i'm going to film this today and upload it today so it probably will be pretty late because obviously hopefully the movie day will go all day long but uh, yes yeah, so let's see what we can watch uh if you guys like these videos i'll try and do more of them just let me know down in the comments below what you think of them but yeah so let's see what movies we can watch and i'd love to know your thoughts on the movies that we do watch as well and do you guys ever have movie days um stuff like that let me know down in the comments below but yeah let's see what movies we can watch you guys probably didn't even notice, but through the whole of that beginning bit, I had something black on my face. I'm so sorry. I noticed. I was like, what is that? And then I looked up my own face and I was like, yeah, I've got something black. It's like black makeup on my face, but in the wrong place. Ugh. So it's about 11 o'clock. Just got back from the car boot. Ooh, 11.18. Uh, I'm going to finish up watching About Time first. Uh, really enjoying this. I'm right near the end. It's a bit strange. At first, I was like, huh, I've heard really good things about it, so I was like, oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, once you get into it a bit more, it's definitely a lot better. So, yeah, I'm going to watch the end of this, see how it wraps up, and then I'm pretty sure I'm going to watch The Roommate with uh, Leighton Meester, of course. Uh, you know, I haven't heard a lot about this one, but like I said, I picked it up because she was in it, and hopefully it'll be an okay kind of, I guess, horror thriller type thing. But, yeah, so those are the first two on the agenda. So I finished about time, you know I really really enjoyed this, the end was definitely really great, really nice message, really sweet end, uh, it's kind of a sad but happy movie kind of thing, I definitely recommend it, and look at this cool little slipper it's got going on, but yeah I definitely recommend it, it starts off a little bit strange if you ask me, but then the second half is definitely a lot better, and you know it's a great movie, I'm probably going to talk about this a lot more in a what I've watched video or a review but yeah overall it's a great film if you're kind of wondering whether to watch it or not definitely give it a go but make sure you watch the whole thing of course you know because it's the end is definitely really really great and you know I really enjoyed it it was kind of sad but but sweet and it was just nice so yeah about time definitely like that one uh, it's gonna be a bit weird now to watch the roommates because that was such a nice end and now we're going into this but yeah let's go for it anyway the roommate of course I'm drinking coffee out of my Mickey Mouse mug. Mm -mm, coffee is my favourite. Okay guys, I just got done watching The Roommate and it was creepy, weird, kind of obsessive thriller. We have Leighton Meester here, who is the roommate of this girl, Sarah. Uh, she moves in, her name's Rebecca. And it's not really a horror film, it's more like a thriller, like I said. And it's just her really creeping a friend out and... I don't know, it's not even like she keeps her out. She seems really normal to her most of the time, but like she's just, you see what she's doing and it's just generally weird. Some things are really, really kind of creepy. It's a good, you know, college teenage thriller type thing. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then you know, I'd recommend this movie. It's good, but the um, ending was a bit of an anti-climax. The ending was a bit disappointing. But apart from that, you know, I enjoyed that one. I'd probably give it a five out of 10. I know it doesn't seem very high, but, you know, for the kind of movie that it is, I think that's okay, you know, it's five, 5 out of 10, yeah. You know, it, it wasn't, it was, it was good, you know. But yeah, the roommate. I also have this Candyland Soft Joy licorice. This is like my favourite ever licorice. So yeah, I've got that as well. Yum yum. Okay, now I'm going to watch Spirit. Now, this is a movie that I've never ever seen. But it is an early DreamWorks film. And yeah, I've always wanted to see it. People have told me good things about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard a lot about it, so I'm sure some of you were surprised that I haven't seen this one, but I just, I just haven't, but, you know, it's one of the hand-drawn ones, and I've always meant to check it out, and I remember my friend used to love it when I was younger, and I still, I never saw it, so, here we are, first time watching it, it's Spirit, Spirit, what am I on about, it's Spirit, Stallion of the Simarin, is that what that says? I don't really know. But yeah, and plus I think, I believe this has music from Brian Adams in it, which is always something that interests me. But yeah, I really don't know a lot about it, so let's give it a go. 
hopefully I'll like this one. Okay, so I just got done watching Spirit, and this was great, you know. I've never seen this movie, like I said. The music in it was really good, the animation was really, really nice, and the story was nice. It wasn't overly complicated, it was pretty simple. You had this uh, Mustang horse, and he was kind of a bit of a rebellious horse, or just kind of, I guess, stood for what he wanted. He wanted to be free and not captured. He got captured by the US Army, and then by these uh, Native Americans, I guess. And the story kind of goes on from there, it's about him trying to escape from mostly the army men and then, you know, people he meets, well, horses and people he meets along the way. So what I really liked about this is the horses, like, they didn't talk. Um, it, it was narration, and I think actually it might have been narration by, maybe, I can't remember who, but um, there was some narration in there which kind of gave you a bit of thought of the spirit's thoughts, but apart from that it wasn't a lot and he didn't talk, which was good because you didn't need it but yeah overall really enjoyed that i'm glad i watched it if you've never seen it i'd definitely re recommend you give it a watch uh, like i said it's one of the older dreamworks movies more in line with kind of like prince of egypt kind of thing by the way sorry if the camera's wobbly i'm holding it and this camera is heavy with one hand so yeah but yeah spirit was uh, really good yeah i enjoyed that one a lot okay guys so now i'm gonna watch iron man 2 i've actually never seen iron man 2 the whole way through uh, i've watched the beginning of it and i just couldn't get into it right away when i was watching it uh, so I haven't seen Iron Man 3 either. But Iron Man the first one, I loved it, and I love Iron Man in the Avengers, he always makes me laugh, Robert Downey Jr. is great. So yeah, let's hopefully get through Iron Man 2 now, and then I can watch Iron Man 3 soon. I know that I should have watched it way before now, but I hadn't watched this one, so I didn't want to watch the third one, and then it wasn't really in the mood to watch this one. But yeah, we're gonna watch it, Iron Man 2. Okay guys, so I have now watched Iron Man 2, and you know, I enjoyed it, it was okay. It wasn't one of the best of the Marvel movies, it was just... I don't know, I just, I just, for some reason, I just don't enjoy this one so much, but I'm hoping to enjoy Iron Man 3 a lot more, I've heard that's better than 2. Iron Man 1, I love it a lot, but this one, it just takes a while for me to get into it. The end was great, and, you know, you know what I love most about the Marvel movies, I've got to say, is that they always make me laugh, and they don't seem like they make, like, they're action movies with superheroes, and they're awesome, but I always laugh, they're always a bit funny too, and I always laugh, especially Iron Man, he always makes me laugh. Uh, but yeah, I laughed quite a lot in the Avengers, and I got some laughs out of this one, and yeah, I always laugh in the Marvel movies, so that's what I like about them. They're fun action movies, but they also are funny. I just think they're funny, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, I think actually if I could be any superhero, I would be Iron Man, because I think he's cool, and you can fly, and you've got a suit, and yeah, it'd be cool, you've got all the gadgets and stuff. Who would you be if you could be any of the superheroes? Uh, anybody like uh, from anything who would you be uh, let me know down below but yeah I think that's probably going to conclude the movie watching day type thing we watched four um but yeah I'm probably going to watch another movie but I've got to edit this video so if I watch the movie then edit the video then I don't know but yeah so who knows what I'm going to watch but yeah you'll hear about it in the what I've watched video plus if you want to see more of these videos just let me know down in the comments below oh this camera's heavy let's swap hands let me know down in the comments below and um, thumbs up if you want to see more of these movie day movie night type things it's now what time are we on at uh, half eight so you know I've watched I've watched four movies done a few things in between uh, I'm gonna now edit this video you know and then probably watch something else later on tonight but yeah for now that was the movie day I enjoyed all the movies that I watched and I recommend which one do I recommend the most? Let me look. Um, probably About Time. I recommend About Time. Let's go in order. Let's order the movies, just for fun. <laughs> about Time, I recommend the first. Um, Spirit, probably the second. Iron Man 2 will be the third. And The Roommate as the fourth. So those are the orders that I recommend them. But overall, I enjoyed them all. Had a great time watching them. But yeah, until then, guys, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see all new videos. Mostly, always, most days. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of any of these movies if you see them. Until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!